Oh, it's close. Yeah, close. What's going on, man? What's up? Y'all can hear me? Can y'all hear me? Wait for a second till y'all get off in here. Come on, the wire! What's going on, man? Don't take questions and answers. What's up, bro? Oh, boy, what's going on, man? Playing cards, man. I don't know. Reminded me of my childhood. I don't jump back in here. Start getting cards. Got a whole bunch of cards right here, man. I don't, I don't know. Remind me when I was a kid, man. Got old Ben Roethlisberger. The car thing on. Came back around again, man. Um, got Jerry Judy. Jerry Judy. I'm going to talk to the kids, man. I know some of them are stuck at home right now. Give him a little, help him out with recruiting and what they should be doing right now, what they could be doing right now, what they could be doing right now with um with all the time that they got, all the time they got. What's going on, bro? Yeah. 
Listen, man. So right now, man. Right now is a is a tough time for everybody. I mean, especially football. Football is not a it's not going on. Um, I was just with a Rashad Smith, man, the FAU linebacker. Uh, he said he spoke to seventeen different NFL teams um, at the East West Shrine game. I think he said he was at. Uh, but right now, man, there's nothing going on with football. Even with the NFL, there's nothing. There's nobody, um, <laughs> no, <Nah>, I'm not, <laughs> I be getting around, dog. <laughs> he said, am I staying away from people? <laughs> I try to stay in the house, man, but it's hard, big dog, it's hard. But yeah, even with him, man, he, um, he was FAU best linebacker last year. He, he may have a chance to go in the draft, but they, um, like he, like there, there's no pro day for people like that, man. I can only imagine, man. It's your time, it's your time to shine, and there's no pro day. You didn't get invited to the NFL draft. It gotta be rough, dog. Yeah, will, man. I, I be trying to stay in the house, man, but it's hard, man. You know what I'm saying? It's hard. Hard man, I went down to Florida City yesterday. <laughs> yeah, so it's just it's rough right now because I mean football has stopped and this is not the natural process. So man, with the with some of you high school kids, man, you at home, uh, not knowing what to do. No, not, 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 not knowing what to do. You're bored. All you're doing is playing Fortnite. Um, all you're doing is playing Fortnite. You come on. And all you're doing is playing Fortnite. You're bored. I mean, there's a lot you've been doing while you're at home chilling. There's a lot you could be doing uh, while you're at home. I'm going to give you a couple of ideas, a few ideas. Yeah, we live. No, I'm good. Yeah, so I'll give you a few a few ideas. The things you can be doing, things you can be working on. Um use the time wisely. I, I mean you, you just gotta think in times like this, you just gotta think. You gotta sit down and think like, hmm. So right now I probably would have been getting ready for spring, practice playing seven on seven. And I wouldn't have time for what? What wouldn't I have time for? And then those are the things you take advantage of. Um, those are the things you take advantage of. Right now is an awkward time for a lot of people, man. You got to think, in the NFL, the, the scouts will be traveling around to the pro days. There is no pro days. Uh, college coaches, man. I've seen college coaches Skyping. Uh, Illinois, man. I got a picture of Illinois, man. Lovey Smith sniping with... GAs and, and one of the, the offensive captains, they they on Skype trying to figure it out. University of Miami, they they figuring it out. They um they using Skype and supposed to get back together in mid April to, to uh, figure some things out. But but yeah, man, right. So so right now, I mean, some some things you could be doing is uh like. If, you want the kids that's being recruited, uh, do your research. Yeah, I mean, you home, you home, you ain't got nothing to do. Do some research on some of the schools that you're interested in. Look at the coach. Go see the coach. See how long the coach been there. Read up. See what the people said about the coach. Go look at the they roster. Go look at the positions. Um, do some research on the schools. Can't think. What's going on, bro? Do some research on the schools. I mean, look, check them out. See what see what's going on. Um. Um, yeah, like I said, look at the coach, see it, see the coach, see what, see, go read, see what, see what, the, um, see what the local media is saying about the coach. They may be talking about firing him, you know what I'm saying? You, you finna go up there and commit to him. Uh, look at, look at the rosters, go get their roster, put the roster down, see how many people play your position. Um, yeah, man, I'm used to time wisely. Uh, Working out, you can always work out. I mean, the workout's right on YouTube. You can always work out right in the house. You just got to have the fortitude to want to do it. 
You say you learned a bit about um, Yale? Yeah. Do I know any Bama camps? Um, no, nah, but I'm sure we could find some. Um, any Bama camps? You 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 in Bama? What are you in high school? You in high school? That boy, what's going on, bro? You in middle school? No, um, well, no, not in Alabama, but I'm sure. I mean, we can we can find some. I mean, if we were to look some up, I'm sure it wouldn't be hard to find. Y'all got this awesome thing called G O O G L E that we didn't have, and it's awesome for y'all. I mean, y'all, um, y'all can find anything with that thing. <laughs> be honest with you, um. You like the football team Mexico? What do you mean you like the football team Mexico? You like the football team Mexico? <laughs> what are you talking about? Well, um, school had the custom teams. <laughs> Sorry, brother, for confusion. I like the football team, Mexico. I know we can put the football logo on the PlayStation. Still trying to figure out what you're talking about, Duck Boy. What you talking about? Oh, you wonder who the goalie will be for your football team. Oh, you playing soccer, football, F-U-T-B-O-L. Yeah, I'll stay right here one second. Be right back. Yeah, so you, well, you talking about soccer. <laughs> you talking about soccer. Duck boy, where you play at? I've been contacting low key NFL players and trying to get their advice. <laughs> Who's some of the NFL players you contact and what kind of advice you trying to get? Huh? What kind of advice you trying to get? What you asking? In my period, is it a long shot with Leary? Nah, I think Leary kind of... Nah, I mean, but... If they came at Leary wrong. I mean, they came at Leary and tried to offer him as a running back. And I, to this day, I don't know what that was about. You know what I'm saying? But I don't think it's a long shot with any kid, to be honest with you. Like, he's... like I mean, like they said, I mean, if you get after him... You show him you care. When I talk, when the first time I talked to him, he said Arizona was recruiting him really, really hard. Arizona State, I mean. Arizona State. And there was just effort on their behalf. They were showing effort. They made him feel like they care. And he and, and he took heed to it. Yeah, so I mean, no, I don't think it's a long shot, but they gotta warn him. And, and, and that's the problem. I mean, um, he has a size, he you, you probably got what? You keep Brown, I mean, and another wide receiver. That, that'd be the question. It'd be a numbers game. You know what I'm saying? Do I think he's a real deal? I think he's a real deal. I think you keep Brown a real deal. Um, Leary seems to be very mature, though. Leary seems to be very mature. Go grind football. You say wide receiver tips. That's what you was asking him for? Go ground, where you from? You say T.Y. hitting on the wrong team. 
Yeah, Leary, Leary seems a little more mature for some reason, bro. Like, he, he seems like he, he understands it. You know what I'm saying? You in Boaz, Alabama, boy, that's some, that's some masonry stuff. That's some Boaz, huh? Boaz, Alabama, huh? Yeah, Leary seems to be more mature. Um, I mean, I don't, I don't know what that is, but sometimes kids are, I mean, they're, they're, they're just different, so... But yeah, um, you were asking for wide receiver tips. I mean, what type of tips are you trying to do? You trying to do training? I mean, what is it you want to know? What, what is it you want to know? Um, what, 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 what kind of tips you looking for? Do you know? Do you know? Do you know? Training and strength. Man, a lot of that stuff is right on YouTube, bro. Like Instagram, YouTube. You just got to want to do it and you just have to consistently want to do it. You just got to consistently want to do it. That's all. Um, Instagram, YouTube, Google that stuff. Um, find you somebody that's respectable, man, and, and, and have at it. Like, you got nothing but time. But like I said, with this time, man, you can be doing a lot. You, you could be doing a lot. You could be learning the playbook. Like, if you know where you're going, you, you, you good with coach, tell coach, give you the playbook. Learn the playbook up and down. You run the, you're on the defense, man, learn the defense up and down. Um, one thing, if you ain't passed a test, man, right now, shh. You ain't got number time. If you ain't passed the SAT the test, you ain't got number time. Um, number time. Whether you gotta take it next year, I think they canceled it for this year. Whether you gotta take it next year, you don't have anything but time, bro. Um, but like I was saying, so you can be doing research on like if you if you're being recruited, research the college, see what goes going on with the coach. Google the school. See what the local media is saying about the coach, man. Maybe maybe, maybe coach just finna, finna get read up. Coach gonna be there for four more years. So now you're like, oh, man, it's stability at that school. Maybe he finna get fired. Um, look at, like I said before, look at the roster. Go down the roster. See where the people at. See where they come from. Google some of the some of the players. You'll see what's going on. Oh, man, look. They got three running backs, but look, he, his boy right here thinking about transferring. He ain't even happy. You know what I'm saying? You got time. Be smart. Utilize your time. And I'm talking to high school kids. You adults, man. Y'all need to... If you're an adult, you need to be investing in the market right now, man. This stuff is crazy right now in the market. Man. But for the kids, you got nothing but time. Utilize your time. Let's see. I mean, only reason I could think you're having trouble with staying low, man, because you haven't done it enough, bro. Like, you haven't you haven't practiced it enough. Repetition. You know, you've heard the word repetition? Repetition. Over and over again. Over and over again. You're having trouble staying low, one, because you, you believe in your mind you're having trouble standing low. And two, you haven't done it enough. If you did it 20 times a day, man, try doing it 40, 60 times a day until you get it together. That's, I mean, that, that's the only way. That's, that's something, that's a skill. That's something you can learn. It's not something that, it's not something that, hey, man, some people know how to get lower than others and stay. No, that's something you can learn. So, so just put your mind to it, bro, and get going. Anybody, man, trade cards, man? Who else, who else trade cards, man? I don't know, man. I've been bored, man. I brought a, I went and brought a PlayStation. That boy don't whoop me up in the PlayStation day. I've been trading cards lately. Got an old. Sorry, Lamar Jackson car here ain't worth nothing. Got a Jerry Judy card. I, I hope I see him somewhere so I can get him to sign it. Cool looking Mitch Trubisky card, but he sucked. Ben Roethlisberger, the rapist. Yeah, I said it. <laughs> Bro, 
Roquan, Roquan Smith. Anybody else trade cards, man? How card? What? How? What's going on, bro? How, boy? You know I resigned today, boy. I'm done with corrections, big dog. The football field from here on out. <laughs> I'm done with it. But yeah, I mean, I, for, for all who don't know, man, lately um, I've been contemplating resigning from a job and just doing what I love, doing Footballville, running my media company. Uh, I've partnered with some good people. We're about to change the way Footballville look. We're about to we about, we about to amp it, ramp it up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Still going to have the hand canes and still going to have the kids recruiting the basis of it. But we about to amplify it a little bit. Get the thing popping, popping. You understand? You understand? I hope you understand. So, yeah, hell, man. I kind of resigned today, bro. Now it's just all football, really. I think so. That boy says it's not hard to stay low is easy. <laughs> that boy, what you know about staying low, huh? Tell me it's not hard to stay low is easy. I'm gonna keep them, man. I'm gonna keep the cards, man. There's some, there's some cards out there, man. It's some. It's some basketball cards out there worth a lot of money, man. Worth a lot of money. But you keep the cards, and then maybe somebody you got. I got a Patrick Mahomes, Nick Bosa. And if they do real good, the cards go up in value. That way, if you get a chance, Google, Google, Google Zion Lewis. Zion Williams, I mean, rookie card. Zion Williams, prism rookie card. Or Google, uh, Luka Duncan. Luka, what is it? Luka Duncan. Luka Duncan. Luka Duncan. Luka Duncan. <laughs> rookie card. Oh, worth a lot of money, man. It's not hard. It's, it's not hard. Okay, so he says it's not hard. It just feels like he have more control when he's high for some real reason. I mean, because you do. Yeah, because you do. I mean, you do have more control. You do have more control when you're high. Um, but it, it's it's... It's that, that's see, see that's something that they don't talk about in sports a lot. No, it cut that's it, it doesn't come natural. You know what I'm saying? That's why I say it's repetition, repetition, repetition. You got to get better at it. It's not something that just comes natural. Um, it's because that's not your natural like that's not your nat. That's you just got to get better at it. That's the purpose of the repetition. Repetition is got to get better at something that you're not used to doing. There it is, Taz. Well, tell him to press the like button, Taz. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put my cash up in here, man. Somebody feeling generous tonight, man, y'all. That boy, where you at? I'm going to get that boy, that boy a job. You got a job. Look at that, that boy right there. <laughs> that boy said he want to be a part of Football Vail Nation. All right, that boy, we're going to give you a job tonight, man. This your job. I'm gonna put my cash app in there for anybody who's feeling generous tonight. Who, 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 who. It's up to you. I mean, I ain't asking you to give me nothing. You feeling generous? It's up to you. You feel like you want to give me, send me a cash app because of what I do for you. That's up to you. But that boy, I'm gonna let you manage it. You're gonna be my cash app man, that boy. <laughs> So with 
That boy say rip move and stay low. <laughs> There you go, that there you go, that boy. That's my cash app, that boy. I want to I can't I'm trying to figure out how I pin this, but I guess I can't pin it. I don't know. That boy, you keep keep reposting the cash app every now and then, that boy. I thought I could pin it, but I guess I can't. Let me see. Nope, all I can do is remove it. But yeah, I mean, if you got, if you somebody want to donate to the cash shop, that's the cash shop. You can always donate if you if you appreciate what I do, man. Um, this ain't got nothing to do with me quitting my job, though, man. That just that just if you guys want to donate to the service. Uh, but like I was saying, the day I resigned from my job, I mean, and I'm going to football field full time. Um, I'm going to put some money into the invested into the business, man, and we finna roll with it. So, man, I appreciate y'all support. We ain't going nowhere. We about to turn up. We about to turn up on the Canes. We about to turn up on... We finna get into the Dolphins. We finna get into all of it. Uh, I've, I've partnered with a, 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 a good business partner of mine. A, 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 a girl named... Um, a woman. A lady, actually. Who... Named Angie. And we finna... We, we're gonna... We're about to run with it. About to revamp the way things look. And we're gonna run with it, bro. So that boy, yeah, man, post that every now and then. Because I can't pin it. I'm trying to figure out how to pin it. I can't pin it. Let's see. Cam Newton is going to the Dolphins, I hope. You want Cam Newton at the Dolphins, dog? Taz, boy, you always come through, boy. I appreciate you, man. Go grind, say. Go grind, say. Look, Taz, Taz, cash at me, man. I appreciate you, big dog. Go grind, say. Go grind, say. I'm new to the channel and I saw some of your YouTube. Do you do that often? What you saw on YouTube? You saw what you saw on YouTube? You saw high school games, youth football games. That boy, that boy said he wanted to be a part of football organization. <laughs> I can't pin it in here. I gotta go on, I gotta go onto the desktop and pin it. Let's see. Let's see if we can go pin it in the desktop. That boy, how old are you, man? That boy, I want my rematch after this, that boy. That boy beat me in Madden today. I think that boy like 11 years old, man. I got beat by 11 year old, man. What in the hell? Let's see if we can let's see if we can go ahead and pin it, man. Let's see. Nah, we can't pin it from right here. Oh yeah. So go ground. Yeah, yeah. Footballville. Go ground. Where you from? You say Alabama somewhere? Footballville, yeah. We call you football. We started recording you football games and then it kind of it went to high school football games and that was like the hurricanes and footballville, the brand has grown like in South Florida. And it's now it's just a, a, a brand. We, we just we show people football. We don't care if it's street tackle football. We just give you football in, in, a, in a nutshell from many different angles. So, yeah, but it started with youth football. That boy, how you trying to cash out somebody? <laughs> you ain't got no money. Lakers like said we need a leader on the Dolphins. Tour is questionable, and have Cam as a quarterback would be good. Laker like, man, I spoke. I, uh, so yesterday, I, I was on the conference call with Mel Kiper, the draft analyst from ESPN, and um, I got some stuff, man. We gonna post, man. He talked about Tour. They talked about Tour, and um, you know what? I'm gonna see if y'all can hear some of it. I'm, I'm gonna let y'all hear some. Of it. He talked about Tour. He talked about the Hurricanes. He talked about the. I'm gonna post some of it a little later, but let's see. Let's see if y'all can hear some of it. Y'all can tell me y'all can hear it. Let me know. This male Kuiper talking about tour. About love, I think at 12, it makes sense. At 19, where the Raiders have another pick, it would make sense. Certainly at 23, to New England. I just think that's a good 
think you can't excuse away some of the things that happened in a couple games this year where, you know, he, he was, they were a better team, even though they lost players, they still struggled against teams that were, like, were combined. Uh, Colorado State, New Mexico combined 6-18, and 18, struggled in those two games. So, to me, you know, the inconsistency this year is a concern. Um, Let's see. Okay, let's, let's see. Josh Bushy from Michigan, uh, Lewis from Alabama would be another one. Um, there could be a possibility there. So, uh, in terms of Tua, uh, you know, I, I just think. You know, okay, so right now he's going to talk about Tua. Um, y'all want Miami to get Tua? Can y'all hear that? Can y'all hear him talking? <laughs> yeah, man, I was, we was on a phone call with Ian with Mel, with Mel Copy yesterday. Can y'all hear that? Let me know if y'all can hear and I'll let y'all hear what he had to say about Tua. <laughs> like I said, Mill is big time. Huh? So yeah, so here, this, this is what he had to say about Tua. Oh yeah, you can hear it? Okay. Yeah, they were just right. I don't think Obviously, I just have always thought to be medically redshirt of you and his body heal. You don't expect him to play four of the top five most active winning as single callers in the NFL right now. Uh, the guys that are active playing, winning as quarterback, four of the five, didn't play as a rookie. Only one it did was Big Ben Roethlisberger. Okay, you give the two guys that were the MVPs last year. Mahomes didn't play as a rookie, he played the final game. That was it. Like the Lamar Jackson played until, you know, he played late in his rookie year. Uh, so then he was there the last two MVPs. So, you know, you were talking about now, they were, there was nothing medical about any of those guys. This is medical, okay? And, and then you have the addition of sitting and, and watching and learning as a rookie, which has helped all those quarterbacks I mentioned. You say, well, that was a, a different era with some of those guys that are older. Was a different era with, uh, with uh, Patrick Mahomes? Was a different era with Lamar Jackson? So, and they didn't play right away. And Lamar didn't play at all as a rookie. And Jackson didn't play until play, play later in the season. So, I think medically red shirt them. That doesn't make that is important because talking about, all about, the medical about uh, you know, that's not as critical if you go in with realistic expectations of what he's going to do as a rookie. So that's, that's him talking about Tua. He, he said some other stuff about Tua, too. Um, Putting that mix there. Let's uh, see. Okay, now here he's 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 talking about wide receivers. He's gonna talk about Judy Ruggs and um some top wide receivers. Yeah, that's basically it. I mean, we've had this before, you know, with the the Altoon draft and then you know, about Eddie Brown and Jerry Rice and all those different years when they had, had three receivers with Michael Irvin and all those different receivers in draft. We've had three that were very hard to separate. And that's the thing with Judy Lamb and Ruggs. I mean, they're there three right now. Like they've kind of T Higgins I would put in that group as well to an extent. Uh, he ran pretty good at his pro day. It was one of the last pro days that, that happened. Uh, he's obviously, you would like to see him be a little more physical. To... Okay. You say what he said about Miami. This is what this is what he had to say about this is what he had to say about some of Miami. Uh, draft picks. Uh, you know, up to the Josh Lee Rose, three fifth. Uh, DJ Dallas, I have right now. I mean, what's going to be the speed? Speed for wide receivers is very overrated. It's how you apply it on the field. He does. So this is him. He, this is what he had to say about some of the Miami players. Yeah, 
This is Mel Kiper from ESPN. We got on the phone call with Mel Kiper yesterday. Got to ask some questions and stuff uh, about the draft that's coming up. Yeah, so that's Mel Kiper yesterday talking about the, the drafts. Um, man, if 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 I hope Jeff Thomas get on the team. Um, I think Jeff Thomas is a very very <clears throat> a very talented kid. I think he suffers with some things in his head, but I think he's very very talented. Um, hope he get on the team. Like he said, Jeff Thomas may be a fifth round player. He said, but most of the University of Miami Hurricane kids are third-round kids. You know what I'm saying? Um, I mean, third-day kids is what he said. He didn't say third-round. He said third-day kids. Uh, so, man, we just hope, hope those guys get a chance, man. Hope they get on. But, yeah, that was Mel Kuyper from ESPN. Um, was on the phone call with him yesterday for about an hour. Talking about the draft. Got to ask him some questions and stuff. Do I want Miami to get Tua? Uh, Tua right now, man, the issue with Tua is is, is is now they can't really evaluate him like they're supposed to. Got two Patrick Mahomes cards. Got both of them suck. Two, three, both of them suck. But they can't really get, um, they can't really, like, everything's shut down. So I'm sure his evaluation, you know what I'm saying, of his hip and everything, I hate that he injured his hip, bro. I'm sure that the evaluation is kind of on the slowdown. Um, yeah, man, if Jeff Thomas make it into the league, bro, I'm buying every rookie card that I could find with his face on it. Remember, I said it here first. <laughs> I remember I said it. You say you need Jeff for the Raiders. <laughs> yeah, remember I said it here first, bro. I'm trying to find. That boy, man, you supposed to be posting a cash app. What happened, that boy? But up, yeah, Jeff Thomas, Jerry Judy, man, I, I invest in Jerry Judy. Um, these kids that I, that I know for a fact they could play, you know what I'm saying, outright. Uh, Jeff Thomas had a rough time, but if he get a shot in the NFL, when the NFL, listen, NFL will let you do what you're good at. If he gets a shot in the NFL, it's a niche league. It's a niche league. If he that boy, we're gonna play after this. If he get a shot, if he get a shot, I mean, I think he's gonna do it. I think he's gonna I think he's gonna make it, I think he'll make it happen, man. I, that kid was an under armor offensive MVP. Um ever since then I believed in him. I saw him in person one time versus um DJ Ivy. Um you can type it in. Type DJ Ivy versus Jeff Thomas in on YouTube one day and go look at my video. They went at it one night, man. Crazy, uh, oh boy, I'm, I'm about to, I'm about to break, I'm break the PlayStation. What's going on, man? That little blow pop right here, pop right on out. But yeah, he um, he two months before he was supposed to come to University of Miami. I've told the story before, man. Jeff Thomas was at a seven on seven tournament in South Florida, bro. It was the weirdest thing, like, it was the weirdest thing. But we thought the school was from Port St. Lucie. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and they played against South Florida Express. Bunchy. Bunchy the little kid. Um, I think Bunchy. Bunchy's awesome, man. I, I, I've heard that Bunchy, uh, he's getting older now. Sometimes when those kids, they're really, really good when they're little. You know what I'm saying? And then they start growing older. Other kids start catching up with them. So I... I, I so... He's made a name for himself um, from when he was a little kid. Um, I, but I, I, I've heard remember good things about him, man. But I just heard that the kids are starting to catch up with him, man.
He's doing Jeff at 2.0. He isn't getting a BAM offer. <laughs> Go grind so he ain't getting a BAM offer. Go grind. Why don't you put, put the football field in some of your Alabama stuff, man? Um, but yeah, Jeff Thomas came down here. Played against South Florida Spurs 7 on 7 tournament like two months before he's supposed to be in the University of Miami. Long story short, man, got into a fight, man. Jeff Thomas started the fight. They split his eye open. And later that night, he played against DJ Ivy. And they went at it one on one. And if you go to YouTube, type in DJ Ivy versus Jeff Thomas, that's the video that you'll find. Um. Crazy day though, bro. I tried to get an interview with him. <laughs> he didn't want to talk. Crazy day. But the crazy thing about that is, is that never got out. Like him getting in a fight and all of that. Media was there, but it never got out. Yeah, I go grind. He um, that's what I heard. I heard his daddy. Okay, Lloyd, what's up? I heard his daddy pulls him out for like. I heard his daddy pull him out. If the daddy don't like what's going on with the team, we talking about a bunch of young out of California. I heard his daddy snatch him off the team, put him to another team. I don't know. I mean, if that's how you want to raise your son, that's on him. Saban said he will not offer people if they transfer school because he wants them to sign with what they got. Saban said, this is what Nick Saban said. Saban said, if he got a kid that transferred more than three, two schools, I think he said, he said he wouldn't recruit him. He said, that means he doesn't want to compete. That's what Nick Saban said. But grind, listen, listen. Nick Saban wasn't talking. Nick Saban wasn't talking. He wasn't talking to high school players when he said that. That was a smoke screen. He was talking to high school players coming to college. He was talking to all the four star, five stars that's thinking about going to Alabama that don't want to wait to play. That's who he was talking to. He was just trying to get his message across that if you don't want to compete for if you don't want to compete for a spot, don't come to Alabama. And putting a, a negative spin on it. But he wasn't talking about how you don't think he's gonna recruit. You don't think if any of them, Nick Leary, um uh Mr. Teller, uh Corey Collier, Corey Brooks. You think if these kids went to five different schools, Nick Saban wouldn't recruit them? He would. That was just his way of talking to... That was just his way of saying that I like players that want to compete. Of everybody that comes into Alabama, you got to compete for a spot. I mean, if, if you ain't that guy, like, you know what I'm saying, you got to compete for a spot. And I'm sure he has a problem with that because if I'm a four-star, five-star, I could go somewhere lower tier, Arkansas, or somewhere, and I can get a chance to get on the field and play. So I'm sure Alabama has that issue sometimes. Y'all watch and hit the like button for me and share. No, everybody, everybody took that. See, go grind. Everybody took that the way you took it. I think that's because that's what he said. But that's not how I. That's not what I got out of that. Because I, I'm sure I can go on Alabama's roster. Right? No, nah, you good. You good. Go grind, grind. I'm sure I can go on Alabama's roster right now and find you kids that transferred four or five different schools. Three, four schools. At least. I'm sure I can. I'm sure we all can. Grind. What you apologizing for? You good, bro. I know, man. They say KT. They say probably be tripping. That's what I 
heard with a bunch of him. But hey, man, he did his thing, man. That boy made it. That boy made it to the Super Bowl. Um, was it the basketball coach when he gave that speech? Or was it the football coach? It was the football coach? No, I got to go check that out. You say Minnesota, right? James Williams went back. Why didn't he go back to Western? Who knows, man? Um, I got to talk to Chop, the guy he was living with. Um, maybe he back good with Chop. You know what I'm saying? That's probably where he, that's where he needs to be. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, maybe he back good with Jane. Maybe maybe he back good with Chop. Um, I don't think there's a place for Cam Newton at the Dolphins, man. I think the Dolphins are going to get a young quarterback. They've set themselves up to go young, and I think the way they're going to go is young. Um, and I don't see Cam Newton being anybody's backup. I don't see that, so, so I don't know. I don't think so. Hey, bro, what's going on, bro? What's up? I kind of want the Dolphins to get tour, dog. That's what I kind of want. I don't know why. But like Mel Kiper was saying, I let people listen to some of what Mel Kiper, I'll let y'all listen again one time, what Mel Kiper had to say about Tua yesterday. We got on a phone call with Mel Kiper. And I think, I think he's going to have to sit anyway. So let him sit, let him get healthy. That boy said he can't be on the game all night. That boy go to sleep, man. That boy, you supposed to be posting with cash out. What happened? That boy, you killing me, man. Supposed to be reposting the cash app in there, that, that man. The cash app up there. If you guys want to donate, that's that's on y'all. I mean, not, uh, it, it's up to you. If you feel generous, uh, if you like what I do for the kids, you like what I do. It's up to you to donate. We're gonna put the. I like Tua, man. I like Tua ever since he went in that game. Um, 
Ever since Coach put him in the second half and he came back and he won that game, man, I've, I've been liking him. So, yeah, man, I like Tua. And I think it'll be a steal. You know what I'm saying? Um, I just don't like the fact he hurt his hip. That can be really serious. You know what I'm saying? That could be really... That could be really serious. Uh, Bo Jackson's career ended on... I, I, I was watching the game when he got tackled. There you go right there, that boy. Okay, so listen... Zoe, Zoe said, you think he's going to be ready for a hip, with a hip injury? No quarter back ever came back from that unless he do Dak Prescott pregame workout. Hmm. This is what, I, cause, so yesterday I got on the phone with Mel Kuyper, right? Um, I was on the phone with ESPN draft expert Mel Kuyper. This is what he had to say. He had more to say about Tua, too, but, but this, this is what he had to say about Tua. Um... Let's see. About love, I think at 12, he may be set to a versus tip player. He can be a corner because of the living experience for different era with some of those guys that are older. What's what a different era with uh, with uh, Patrick Mahomes? What's a different era with a large, uh, you know, I, I just... Okay, this is what, this, this what Mel Kemp, a draft expert, yes, love, draft expert, we, we, we was on the phone with him yesterday. This is what he had to say about Tua. That boy posted in here. Where you posted it at? Posted in here, that boy. That's part of what he had to say about Tua. He said a lot more about Tua, but that's just one little piece. Um, yeah, that boy, you posted it in the Instagram. Take it off the Instagram, man. Just keep posting it in the comment section here. That boy, man, you ain't going to be able to work with Footballville, man. You can't follow simple instructions, man. Simple instructions, dog. Nobody said nothing about Instagram. So yeah, we spoke with Mel Kiper yesterday, man, and he, he had a lot to say. He had some stuff to say about the Hurricane draft pick too. Um, just um, just just recopy it and post it. Just scroll up there, recopy it and post it. You're killing me, dog. You a Falcon fan? So, yeah, man, I mean, uh, earlier we were talking about what kids um, can do. Um, right now, I mean, you should just be trying to do the things that you wouldn't have been able to do if football was in. Uh, getting stronger. Um, I mean, you still got your backyard. There ain't no corona in your backyard. It's do you got you to gotta copy. It's dollar sign football bill. That boy, you killing me, dog. That boy about to get fired on the first date. <laughs> It's dollar sign football bill, man. That's my cash out, man. If anybody want to cash out me, um, not because I, I resigned from my job today. I'm not asking for money because I resigned from my job. I'm asking for money because I do a service. And if you guys want to feel generous and cash out me, it's up, it's up to you. Um, but I did resign from my job today and uh, make like 80000 100000 a year. Make, but I resigned to do football bill, do what I love, man. 
take the money I got and put into what I'm passionate about, man, and, and, and do this full time. So, um, I just don't want to be in a, a, a old folks home at 70 and regret and not putting my, all my effort into something that I built. You know what I'm saying? So, so yeah, man, um, full fledged, a hundred percent. Uh, we're finna run at this thing. Uh, football will finna get a little new look. We're gonna add some more college, the more we're gonna add the dolphins. We're finna make a full fledged run at this thing. You been placing cones and running routes? That boy, boy, you about to get five, boy. First day on the job, five. But yeah, man, if you home, do some research. Tell Coach Team the playbook. Learn the playbook up and down. If you can't recruit it by colleges, do some research on your colleges. Go find out. Get the top eight colleges, man. Google them. Find out what's going on in the city, man. See what the see what the local media is saying about the coach, man. The coach might be about to get fired. You about to go up there and play for him. Do a little research. You got time right now. I mean, you got time. I'm sure you can probably even take some class. Take some classes online, bro. You probably can get out of school early. I'm sure you can take some classes online. You may even graduate early. Utilize the time wisely, dog. Well, Segna, um, Segna say it's, it's a blessing. It's a blessing you can leave your job and do something you love at an early age. Well, it's a chance that I'm taking, too. I mean, but... I've worked at my job for 13 years, so um, I have a little bit of money to invest, and I've been building this for the last five years, so I, I just see that, hey, man, in order to get it going, I got to go full, I'm going to have to go 100% into it, and and getting up going to the job every day, man, it's, it's kind of like, it's not happy, and I think life is about being happy, dog. I think life is about being Doing something that you love doing, waking up, smiling, and being happy about life. Even if it's less money, if you're happy with your day, you wake up and you're doing something that you would do for free, I think that's the answer, dog. I think that's the answer to, I think that's the answer to life. Um, it's dollar sign football real, um, that boy. Yeah, but I think that's the answer to life. I think I, I think that's the key to life, to to, to, to be happy and, and, and doing something that motivates you, that's fulfilling. Not just go to a job every day and do something that uh, that you're doing for money. Um, I, I, don't think, I, I don't think happiness ever comes out of that situation. I see people go up and up and up and up in, 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 in their selected fields. And it's almost like the higher they get, the more stressful it becomes, the more demanding it becomes. And I'm not sure if they're happy... Um, or just happy to be getting a big check to pay bills. Thank you, man. Nigga, I'm up. Cash app. You guys want to cash app me? And not because I, I just walked away from a job. I mean, that's it's not, not because, just because this is what I do. And you guys may appreciate being able to talk to Christian Leary and me bringing in Ja'Cory Muller and Braylon Brown supposed to be coming. And I'm, I'm going to talk to uh, my homeboy, Illinois running back, the white running back out of St. Thomas. Can't even think of my little dude's name right now. Um, the Jewish dude. But, man, I'm, I'm going to get some of these players online. Uh, maybe Damien from uh, Shamanai, the head coach, who won three straight, straight state titles. Um, Sigmund, I appreciate that, bro. I appreciate that. I mean... Yeah, yeah, it's on, it's on faith. It's like, it's on faith, and I mean, I, I, it's a chance. Uh, I'm going to invest some of the money I have into what I did, what I started. And, but I think I see it. I can see the avenues. I can see how it can be successful. But I, I realized that if I did it, keep doing it part-time, it'll keep growing part-time. Man, if, if, if the Hurricanes was at spring practice right now, man, I'd be turned up. It'd be lit because I'd be full 100 all in, you feel me? Um, so, 
So yeah, man. So you you'll be seeing more football, Bill. Like I mean, it's gonna start looking a little different. It may start looking a little different. Uh, I got some some ideas coming. I partnered with with some people. Uh, a media mongol, I call her. Uh, she's gonna, she's helping me out a lot, and she's gonna be, be around. Y'all will start seeing her face. Uh, um, but right, we finna get this thing popping, man. We finna get it going. Taking some risk, dog. I'm taking some risk, um, but I think it'd be. I, I think I think the worst thing that happened is is that it, it doesn't grow as fast as I say, and then I find something else to do. I mean, but it's not. It's gonna. It's gonna work. I mean, I already know it's gonna work. The foundation is built, and we're gonna get it popping. I think they do play some or not. My Northwestern's supposed to play Palmetto for the spring game, bro, but I don't think that's going to happen. We got another rookie card. Who is this guy, man? Who is Tyree Jackson, man? Why do they put these cards in here, bro? I don't know. Man. <laughs> Who is this guy? Who is this guy? Let me see. I got a Tyler Hero Panini sticker. Let's see. T Tyler Hero Panini sticker. Let's see if it works something. I doubt it. Tyler Hero look basketball cards worth some money, man. Why St. Thomas Aquinas won't play IMG? They need to make that happen. <sighs> Why St. Thomas Aquinas won't play IMG? This is how I see that. Let me see the best way I can, can I can let me see the best way I can. Okay, I'm gonna explain this and y'all y'all follow me. Alright, so. IMG comes into high school football, right? And does something unprecedented. On a scale, on a level, on a level that nobody's ever seen before. They get big time sponsors to sponsor this thing that started with golf, I think, golf or tennis. Um, and then they moved into football and basketball. And they're recruiting players from all over the nation. They have resources out the yin yang. You, you know what I'm saying? Um, so now they built this thing out in the middle of Bradenton, Florida, and you don't have anybody to play. Why would anybody play you? I mean, so what they started doing was they pay these teams to come play them. $10,000, $15,000, Northwestern, Central. You see these teams going up there to play them. It's because they're paying them to play them. $20,000 maybe. I've heard different numbers. But they're paying the teams to play um, because it's almost like it's almost like when the, the big colleges play FAMU and Bethune Cookman to play. You know what I'm saying? They're paying them to play because they need opponents. So some teams, I ain't gonna call them prostitutes or nothing, but they they taking the money. And now I realize that man. I don't know if taking that money every year is good because what you're doing is is you're conceding defeat, I think. If you keep playing them and they beat you and you keep playing them and they beat you and you Miami Northwestern and you keep playing them, right, KT, and you keep playing them and they beat you, eventually you're going to feel second rate. They're going to, the, the fans are going to look at you as second rate compared to them. They got high school players just like you got high school players. So if they keep beating you, then it's like, no, you're not the best team in Florida. IMG is the best team in Florida. So St. Thomas, I think St. Thomas is like, we don't need your money. And we're not going to play with our brand effing around with you and my mothers. <laughs> okay? St. Thomas choose their, their routes 
strategically, and you understand how in the, how the high school rankings are done, if you can stay unblemished and you're St. Thomas, you could be the number one team in the nation. Because there's no, there's no, like there's no, there's, there's no cutting cookie cutter. I mean, with KT, I don't know if it's scared. I don't know if it's scared. I don't know, but it, it, it's more so, it's protecting your brand. That's how I look at it. It's protecting your brand. Miami Northwestern has a tradition that it will be hard to put a chink in. You know what I'm saying? But you can't keep getting beat by IMG and, and think somebody's eventually going to say, y'all ain't the best school here. And then eventually they're going to start taking your best kids. Now, there happen to be so many good kids in South Florida that that may not ever be complete, but... They come down here, they nice bust. They came out here, played a trash power this year. First player of the game, Cavassier, whatever he is, running back goes 70 yards, scores on Miami Northwestern. First player of the game. I don't think it's a good idea to play them year in, year out. I think St. Thomas is protect, protecting their brand. They're like, we don't have to face you. We got a good thing going on here. And we could do without, you know what I'm saying? Because I guess, I mean, they probably feel it's unfair, like it's unfair. They have resources that that everybody else don't have. Man, IMG has a Gatorade testing center inside their locker room. Ben, what's up? A Gatorade testing center. Gatorade testing center inside their locker room. Like what you see on TV when they're running with the tubes in their mouth on the treadmill with the Gatorade jump. Gatorade testing facility inside their locker room. I don't know if that means anything to you, but that's that's that's, that's the type of resources they got. Um, so yeah. And I've been there. Kara City was up on them, had them beat. I was there when James Cook and Miami Central had them beat. Yeah, they the, the Miami teams have came through, and I've been there to where when they had to run a clock on Old Western, like it was a running clock. They they were beating them so bad. James Cook, that James Cook Miami Central team had them beat fourth quarter, and then Trey Sanders got missing <laughs> sixty yards. I thought they was gonna catch him. I thought somebody was gonna catch him. But they lean on you so hard. They lean on you. They lean on you. They lean on you. They weigh you down. They lean on you. They weigh you down. And then every fourth quarter, Trey Sanders will get loose. <laughs> Touchdown. And, and that's how they ended the game. It is a baby college. What? <laughs> Wood, what you say? My daughter's not eating because Principal Bennigan won't take us. <laughs> Lucas film. Ben, what is Lucas film? But yeah, that's my take on the um the, the St. Thomas thing. St. Thomas, St. Thomas, like nah, man, we ain't, we ain't got time for that. I'm working on my Matter Day need to come to Florida and play. I don't know, boy. Matter Day. 
Man, if they beat St. Francis, you tell what they did to Central. Yeah, you saw how they whooped St. Francis, man. I don't, I don't know about that. Um, but that court, well, modern day's quarterback is gone, so I heard like he was the reason. You know what I'm saying? Um, but, but, I forget the kid name going to, uh, I forget the kid name. He's going to, um, Alabama. I don't know why I'm having a brain fart right now. Um, but, they... Mm, they would give these Miami teams the hard. These Miami, these Miami teams took some L's last year, bro. Yeah, Bryce Young. These Miami teams took some L's last year. They would have been. A, they would have been a tough. That would have been a tough outing for them. Tough. Tough outing. That boy, good good job, that boy. That boy's doing a good job posting the cash app. Listen, the cash app there, if you guys want to cash app me, um, it's up to you. It's up to you. If you want to be generous, cash app me because you like what I do, the service that I do, the stuff that I bring, um, going, to the, going to the hurricane game. Man, that come out of my pocket. Nobody don't pay me to go to them games. That come out of my pocket. I, I do it because I want the business to grow. Um, so it's up to y'all. Y'all want to cash app me? That's the cash app that boy put in there, man. Show some love. I'm about to get out of here. Actually about to go live on Instagram. We grinding tonight, we dog. So, man, y'all be easy. Not even though it wasn't almost went undefeated. Loudest put on them. <laughs> yeah, man, Loudest put it on them, didn't he? What did Sigmund say, Zo? Look at Zo, man. Go follow Zo. Zo, my boy, too. Some of these players at IMG, this is what Sigma said. Some of these players at IMG is not that much better than South Florida players. They all not. Like, I mean, of course not. South Florida's got the best players in, in the world. I mean, but they're getting better nutrition. They're getting better training. And they, they're getting better. They get better resources. They're getting taught better. So, man, y'all be cool, man. Y'all make sure you hit the like button and share for your boy. Um, share it to your, man, share it to your Facebook page. Share it in your group chat, whatever. Anybody you think need it. Okay, boo, I appreciate you, man. I appreciate that. All right, man, we're about to get up out of here.